Oh look, the neighbor's going jogging. That's, that's good. Staying fit. Oh, she's walking her dog. Okay, too close, you guys. Social distance. Who knew there was this whole theater going on right outside my window and I never even knew it? Matthew, the main character in Lisa Thompson's Goldfish Boy, is sort of a natural social distancer. This isn't something that's going on in the community, it's something that Matthew just does by himself. He's afraid of germs and he's afraid of becoming ill. <coughs> And so he stays by himself in his room almost all the time. He almost never goes out. His parents are a little concerned about him, but Matthew feels safe in his room because he knows there's no germs in here. He cleans all the time. This kid is immaculate. When he's not cleaning or reading, sometimes he's a little bit bored. And so he looks out the window. And as a result, he knows what's up with all his neighbors. He knows when somebody mows the lawn. He knows what time people go to work in the morning. He knows what time kids are playing in the yard. And when his across the street neighbor has his two grandchildren come and stay with him, a five-year-old girl and an 18-month-old boy, Matthew knows that too. He sees them sometimes. And when that 18-month-old boy goes missing, Matthew, from his bedroom window, might be the last person to have seen the little boy. Suddenly, everyone's interested in Matthew, the kid that before they pretty much all ignored. Now the police are knocking at the door. Everyone wants his help. Matthew might hold the knowledge that they need to find this little kid. Matthew really wants to help. He loves a good mystery and he's genuinely concerned, but how can he be down on the ground, outside, helping find the boy and also be safe in his room by himself as the goldfish boy? I think a lot of us can sort of relate to what Matthew's going through right now. And this is a great piece of realistic fiction slash mystery. All right, I gotta see what my neighbors across the street are up to. So keep reading.